Hi, I've been looking this over, and uh, looks like you did a good job. We'll look at the cross section. That seems to be your main concern now. You're saying these beams are too low? Well, you can click on them and move them. You open the dialog box of that beam, and it's got a, uh, a setting for, let's see, where is that? Well, in any case, you could measure, you could measure how much, how too low it is. Wait a minute, I don't have the big beam. So there we go. I got the big beam. I, I had something behind it selected. <clears throat> but what you're concerned about is uh, let's just do a a backflip cross section through here because you're not going to you do an entire cross section. We'll just cro go from there to there using a back clip. That's all the part of the model you're going to see. And that's what you should see. When you use a full elevation camera, that's how you got the image appearance that you got yourself. Now for this kind of stuff, you can uh, go up here to the CAD menu and uh, CAD detail from view. I think in your case, that's what I would do. Make sure that this is as close as possible. Now it's just an AutoCAD drawing, and uh, these are no longer three-dimensional uh, framing items. This is just a, a, a CAD box here, which uh, it's all broken down into lines now. Let me, uh, okay, we'll select that, and you can move that around however you need to. And then these other lines, uh, just delete them. There's a bunch of lines on top of lines, but you get the idea. Get that cross box. I, I don't know exactly what you want to do, but uh, there's a big difference between uh, what's automatically done and what you usually end, end up with. I'm just deleting lines here. I don't want to delete that. Okay, we'll just go over to the box tools and uh, draw another one in here on top of this junk. <clears throat> we'll give that a, uh, we'll move that to the front, front of the front group, and it'll cover, cover that other junk there. And then you can delete these other lines. And you can get that to, this way it's just lines and, and closed boxes and you can do whatever you want. But it looks like to me it's pretty close. And if you use a back clip camera so that you're not looking at the entire building, I'm going to close this. So now we're back to the live model. And if you want to save this, then uh, just add a CAD line or some text or something. And then the, the program will ask you if you want to save it when you close this camera like that. See, yeah, okay, we save that. And then that can be turned in to uh, look like you've already, already saved one. I think this is the one I did, and, and this is probably yours. Yeah, yours, you didn't use the elevation, use the elevation camera, and so you're looking from here to infinity. And with this camera, you're just looking a few, a few inches. You see that? And then you can move these items around. You can uh, add two-dimensional boxes to represent the beams and, and move them around and make them go where you want to go. And then drive on. Uh, let's let's hit auto detail, CAD auto detail. Uh, then you could add add your uh, installation here and here, and uh, you can change this stuff around to suit you, yourself. And uh, I never use, I rarely ever use 3D framing for for, for anything because I don't need it for a two dimensional view like this. Uh, I think that's the only thing you missed. <clears throat> is this ready to rock the way it is? The only thing I, I see kind of missing, you know, see, let me see if uh, invisible walls are turned off. Walls invisible. Walls. No, they're, they're not turned off. There should be an invisible wall connecting this room to this outer, outer room. I'm not sure, quite sure why that's missing. You can just draw uh, 
an invisible wall there to connect it to the outside and that'll clean it up in, in, in a man relative to 3D. Now you can turn that layer off now that we've got uh, this interior room here connected to the outside then it should uh, it didn't look bad last time I looked at it. Let's see. I mean that didn't look too bad. And for the cross section just to do a CAD, CAD detail from view uh, and those are stored under CAD CAD detail management and uh, th there's the one I created there. Oh wait a minute, that's a, that's a truss detail. My bad. Let's see, we'll go CAD detail management. Must be this. It must be this one, the one I made. Yeah. And then uh, use this or something like it, and then you just uh, draw the framing where you need it and want it, and you can be very precise using two-dimensional uh, items you know, around. And then uh, any lines that are missing, you just draw them in. Let's say we're, we wanted a, a line there. I don't know what your, I don't even care what this is set to, but you'll want, you'll, you should care. And uh, <clears throat> you can finish detailing this out and, and finish your plan. But I think that's the only thing you're missing is you, uh, your backflip camera instead of a, an elevation camera to get this kind of a view here. And you did a good job, and you just missed missed that little uh, little part there. I hope this helps you, and thanks for watching.